<laughs> Was that okay? I had really, really long hair for most of my life that came right up to my butt, basically. Mm -hmm. And in February of this year, <laughs> my crush in a gay bar cut it for me, mm -hmm. asking scissors to the bar lady. <laughs> Why? Yeah, for no reason. I just came there, Dipsy, and I was like, you know what? I've always wanted to cut my hair. I just don't have the courage. I wanted to show it. She's like, you know what? Let's fucking go. <laughs> Sorry mm -hmm. for cursing. Um, <laughs> anyways. Um, so yeah, that's the that's the story of my hair being short. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm sure you will not regret. Sorry, yeah. I'm sure you will not regret. After this haircut, you will see. Oh man, it would be so much easier. Like oh yeah, ten years ago to do this haircut. <laughs> I'm very excited to see it. And how long have you been working as a hairdresser? Um, 2009. Oh, wow. I was seven years old. <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I, I think... Uh, so do you do the math? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty I'm, I'm, young. You, I'm you must be 20. To... I'm 20, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and where are you from? Uh, I'm Italian. I was born and raised in Italy. My Which dad, part of Italy? Uh, the north, you know, next to like um, Austria, mm -hmm. where the mountains are, yeah, yeah, yeah. the Alps, mm -hmm. that's wow. exactly where I live, yes. And what are you doing here? <laughs> that's what everybody asks. I just, I was inspired by Brussels because there's a lot of different people and it's just very interesting to see the mix of different ethnicities Culture, yeah, yeah, yeah. in cultures, yeah, it's fascinating. And I just needed, I wanted to better my French. I speak six languages, and French was a language that I wanted to seal. Uh -huh. to so which one are the six? Yeah. What? Which one are the six? Uh, Italian, Arabic, English, Spanish, German. What did I forget? French. Oh, we have a, a day full of polyglots. I have. So, how do you a learn of... Arabic? Uh, my dad's Moroccan, ah. <laughs> my mom's Italian. Okay. And they were wise enough to speak different languages to you. Yes, I, gr I actually grew up trilingual. That's what I'm saying. I was very lucky. Excellent. Because my mom would talk Italian to me and my dad would speak Arabic. And in school, because of the situation in my region, I learned German. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bec it's like here in Brussels where you have Dutch and uh, French, French yeah, yeah, yeah. and we have German and Italian because okay. uh, historical reasons and stuff. Yeah, yeah me too. Mm -hmm. the same but Italy is really beautiful we have a lot of like Romanian people and it's so nice they're so lovely all the time I have such a good group of friends there in Italy and I always remember like their kindness it's beautiful hmm. mm -hmm. and they taught me a lot of random words random Romanian words <laughs> so be words. ready to be bothered with my <laughs> very very bad Romanian <laughs> I don't worry he can take it <laughs> you know, I can understand also Italian. Really? Oh my god! So if if um, I say like two hours between Italians, mm -hmm. I'm sure I can speak. <laughs> That's amazing. It's pretty similar, huh? We have I a mean, close Spanish. bond. So I was walking El Camino de Santiago, you know? the mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So uh, I was one month in Spain. Mm -hmm. After I came back, I didn't know how to say... Uh, Buenos dias, like uh, in French, bonjour. I was saying, I was saying, buenos dias, and then I was, oh my god, how you say it in French? How you say in French? It, it couldn't came out. Oh no. After one month. Oh yeah, it's hard. It's hard sometimes. You lose your words. It can happen when you speak multiple languages. Mm -hmm. Not easy. Get to a certain level of language. Sure. Uh, comprehension, sure. where you think, dream, and uh, do all of your yeah, reasoning. Yeah, in that language, yeah. Absolutely. This is how I did with English. I yes. Didn't, I didn't learn English in school. I haven't. Nobody does. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then uh, when I convinced myself I love to speak English, mm -hmm. it was easy. Yes. Uh, and now um, <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, I think in English, uh, even if uh, my English is not that good, but uh, because I use so much English. I don't think it's a bad English at all. 
I can, I think uh, you speak perfectly good. I can hear myself. Sometimes I say, man, I use this word too much or too often. <laughs> but yeah, languages are really beautiful. Mm -hmm. I have this very ambitious plan of learning uh, 10 languages by the age of 40. And I'm already at six, so I think mm -hmm. it should be okay. But you, know, you have after, a good head start. <laughs> like after four, it's easy. <laughs> after four, it's easy. Yeah, after four languages, it's easy. That's kind of true. That's kind of true. <laughs> But honestly, some of them, it actually depends because they're so different. I, I know a lot of European-based, like uh, European languages and Neo-Latin languages. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, I want to learn languages like Chinese and Japanese and they have very different, very, very different way of operating. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I was thinking about Chinese and Japanese also. Mm -hmm. So hard. But if I'm not going to use never in my life the language, I'm not going to learn it. So, Fair <laughs> you know, I am the guy mm -hmm. who are, who is not going to school to to do something. Mm. I am the guy who is going to do something to be in school. Interesting philosophy. <laughs> Don't get him started. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean it. Don't get him started. <laughs> he'll he'll never stop. <laughs> I love listening to people, yeah. to be honest. I really don't mind. You should have an interesting time here. Um, my mom, my dad. <laughs> oh, I become a hairstylist because of my mom. Oh, really? Yeah, she was so good at it. I was crying when she was cutting my hair. Crying of joy? What? No, no. <laughs> Sorry to change the topic, I just wanted to say that the undercut is going to be great because as you can see I always get knots at the bottom mm -hmm. there because there's so many layers they just get completely knotted down there. You're going to love it It's too useless. Much. Now we can move that table from there. It will be easier to move. Move the table? No. It will be easier for us to move, no? Gonna you're gonna have some even if you don't ask. <laughs> like you have to leave this place in a way that when people are gonna see you in the streets, they gonna they have to ask you, hey, where did you cut your hair? <laughs> you know, so so actually you have to know like it's an obligation for you to know how to style your hair at home. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense. All right. Yes. For, for me to be successful, you need to be successful. To come from abroad, mm -hmm. and yeah. that's what a lot of people have. Mm -hmm. yeah. So exactly. at first they mistrust you, and then when they they get to know you, maybe. Yeah. I I mean my experience is that they are very warm. I feel so mm -hmm. much better since. Okay. I mean. Since they let me in there, <laughs> I was shocked. That's we a love, challenge. We love society. <laughs> you made it happen. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, we were. So no, we didn't. We were talking about. We were talking it was about just people. normal conversation. No, we were, <laughs> hey, I, how are you? I've never had an orgasm before. Oh. We were talking about about. It's gonna be such an interesting video. This one. <laughs> what <are you> <laughs> About the woman, the lady, no, no, with her, said. with her, what I was talking oh, about. Oh, you don't even remember. 
No, no, I was talking about sex for sure because I like to talk about sex. Everybody likes to talk about sex and sure. everyone likes to do sex. So let's talk about Amen. sex. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, yeah. Uh, sharing experience is not bad actually. <laughs> <laughs> Brief. Uh, Brief. <laughs> we love this. I'm not I've had to talk to personally, people. I had to uh, get older to understand. Oh yeah. I was too fanatic with playing football. Interesting. Yeah. Well. Didn't take you for a football. No, game. but it's uh, yeah. No, I understand. It's uh, not your typical football guy. <laughs> you look like a guy who actually enjoys like a glass of wine, uh, playing the guitar. Um, Sitting next to a fireplace. Uh, uh, that my my uh, first time I was working in the salon, there was a colleague of mine who cut my hair. She told me, "You, you should never come to cut your hair again <laughs> with me." Too gorgeous. Like like she was cutting my hair for for an hour. I was I had so much hair. Oh, I'm I'm gonna need to see some pictures of that. Yeah, I I still have some. I still have some. Uh, what happened? <laughs> Where is your hair? So uh, when I when I when I realized I I am scratching my my uh, head, my head was like, what the heck am I doing? So. So just imagine every day, like for 10 times or so, mm -hmm. you scratch your head. Okay. I'm sure you're gonna lose hair. I'm sure. Wait, mm -hmm. you scratched your hair like, away? You know, I, like, yeah. Out of stress? Out of a lot of things. Stress, traumas, and all these things that are inside our brain, which mm. are there all the time. Yeah, of course. Yeah. When I was sitting in silence, oh, at one moment I said, if you don't shut up, I'm going to hit my head in something. Shut up. So after the third day, I started, to, I started to have less noise. But until the sixth day, it was really hard. Uh, actually, it was the sixth hardest day in my life, I think. Mm -hmm. And you had no phone. And you survived. No phone, no internet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, it was like in short description. It was really, really nice and really, really ugly. Painful, huh? Yeah. Really, really painful and really, really satisfying. You know, like uh, we had all together. Imagine the sensations you live in in ten months. You live there in ten days. I am so curious to see them dry. It's something that is going to be so interesting. You will be in love today. Oh yeah, I am ready to crush. <laughs> cool. She loved mm -hmm. because she felt loved. Mm -hmm. She didn't love me, she felt love. Love, Ooh, right? This is interesting, actually. So, if she felt loved, then why she's telling me, I love you? Well, I guess that in like she feels loved, so in return she thinks that uh, she also like loves you for the way that you love her. She loves l being loved. She loves being loved, but she don't know how to love me. Mm -hmm. That just sounds like you've got some people that didn't know how to understand you so and uh, like, you, it, like it get to your sense. needs and. Yeah, yeah, I understand. It doesn't sound simple at all. Yeah, no. It's just I was... complicated. No, it's like so simple. That... Okay, so... It's if, just a feeling of warmth love. inside and a feeling of wanting to just uh, see the person happy and thriving and... Exactly. Generally, just like feeling such an unconditional uh, sensation of good towards mm -hmm. a person. So in sex you feel love, but for a short term. Why? Because it's only physical love. I mean, but you do feel a deep, deep connection with the person. If you really like to love them, or if you have a really good like uh, synergy, then I think that 